Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root. Show that 63,504 is a perfect square. Also find the number whose square is this number. So first we have to find out if this number is perfect square. So they're asking us to show that. So we have to show that this number is perfect square. And later we have to find out whose square it is. That is we have to find out the square root of this number. So to do this we're going to use a prime factorization method. Now this method is very simple and uh, we can do it easily so we're going to prime factorize this number remember when you prime factorizing take only prime numbers so we have here six three five zero four we're going to start with the first prime number which is two because the given number is even number so it goes in two table it's multiple of two so two threes are six two ones are two one is a remainder we got 15 so two sevens are 14 one is a remainder that makes a number 10 two fives are 10 and two twos are four now again this number is an even number it goes in two two ones are two one is a remainder that makes a number 11 so two fives are 10 one is again a remainder that makes a number 17 two uh, eights are 16 one is a remainder we got 15 now two sevens are 14 one is a remainder that makes a number 12 and two six are 12 so this is how i do it in a simple way like it's, it's a very easy way in case you have any own method of doing a prime factorization you can go with it otherwise you can divide the number with two separately and you can write down the answer in the steps fine so next one uh, this number is like an event goes in two so two sevens are 14 one is a remainder that makes a number 18 so two nines are 18 we got seven two threes are six one is a remainder that makes a number 16 then two eights are 16. now again this number is a even number but it goes into two threes are six one is a remainder we got 19 two eights are sorry two nines are is 18 one is a remainder then two six are 12 one is a remainder we got 18 so two nines are 18 now this number is not an event, it's an odd number. So let's try with 3. It should go in 3. Then, so 3 1s are 3, 3 3s are 9, 3 2s are 6, and 3 3s are 9. Now next we have 1 3 2 3. And this number again goes in 3 table. So 3 4s are 12, 1 is a remainder. 3 4s are 12 again, and 3 1s are 3. We got 441. This number again goes in 3. So 3 1s are 3, 1 is a remainder. 3 4s are 12, 2 is a remainder, 2 7s are, sorry, 3 7s are 21. We got 147. I'm going to do it on this side. So 147 we got. Now 147 goes again in 3. So 3 4s are 12, 2 is a remainder, that makes a number 27. So 3 9s are 27. We got 49. It goes in the next. Uh, it doesn't go in uh, uh, in a three. It doesn't go in five. So next prime number is seven. So seven sevens are 49, and seven ones are seven. Okay. So once we have done this, we got one. So you can stop this. Now we're going to rewrite this once again and see if this number is a perfect square. So let me rewrite the number once again. So it's six three five zero four is equal to. Write down all these prime factors. What we got. It's 2 into 2, then multiplied by 2 into 2, then we have into 3 into 3, then 3 into 3, and 7 into 7. Now, if the number is perfect square, your prime factors will be in a pair. That is, you can see this is forming a 1 pair, that is set of 2. And this is forming a pair, this is forming a pair, this is forming a pair, and this one is also forming a pair. If the number was not a, a perfect square, then you will see a factors which are not pairing up. There will be a factors which is single. But you can see here all, all prime factors are paired up, which means a given number is a perfect square. Now the next question here is, find the number whose square it is. We have to find out the square root of this number. So square root of... 6, 3, 5, 0, 4 will be equal to, it's very simple. From this step only you're going to get the answer. What you have to do is, from each pair, you take one, one factor. That is, from here I'll take 1, 2. From here I'll take 1, 2. Like that, from each you take uh, one, one factor. So, 3 into 3 into 7. 
now once you have got this we have to multiply it so multiply it so when you multiply this numbers you will get 252 so 252 will be the answer so square root of 6 63,504 will be 252. So it's a simple question. Only thing is you have to do a prime factorization and see if number is perfect square. And you have to start pairing up. And from each pair to find out the square root of the number, you have to find out the, uh, like from each pair, you just take one one factor and multiply. So I hope this question is clear. And in case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.